what's up guys welcome back to another me times gamer video this time this video is going to be about uh, how to set up respawn positions so this video is going to be uh, not as long as the other one because the other one i just had to go over like the basic things you guys needed so for starters i'm just going to delete this character because i don't want him killing me every time so uh what we're going to do now first thing if you want to set different uh respawn position what you're going to need is you're going to need markers so over here st stuff we're going to get into a bit later uh, so usually when you're spawning just units and anything units are your thing or when you wanted to find groups of uh, units you here. but we're going to start off we're going to go to markers this is where we're going to define where our soldiers uh, where our unit our player will respawn so what we're going to do is we're going to put one marker here now the important part here is your you need your marker this information you can do whatever you want with it. You can set the color you want. You can set it to blue four because I got it's blue four, and we can just put some random, uh, some uh, some out of left with this. But the important part here is we need a name. The name is not the name that's going to show up on our respawn menu. It's the name that's uh, it's going to define it. The name that it's going to define it, uh, explaining. Uh, like uh, giving it a relation to what spawn point it is so yeah to the code the scripting you're going to need to write is going to be respawn underscore west west for blue four you can write east uh you can write east for op four you can write a gorilla for independent and you can write civilian for civilian so we'll we'll call this one west one uh this one you can uh if i remember you can write one you can write underscore one I think it accepts another one, but I'm not sure. I think it accepts letter, but I'm not sure. But we'll call it one. And here is the title. So uh, the title that's going to pop up on the menu, the text. So we'll call this one respawn. Respawn one. Okay. So we got it here. This is going to be our first respawn. So, so what I can sh we're going to save that. Before I define a menu, we can I can show you that I back in game shoot just to show you that it's just it says a respawn okay see it responded me my character is usually way over there over there but now I'm here where I hit put my respawn button and my respawn marker on and if I if I hit respawn here, this will kill me every time. It's just gonna respawn me here again because I haven't defined another another respawn location. Back to our mission. So don't be afraid if you don't see it. You have to be on marker to see it. So now what we're gonna do? We're gonna set another marker. We're gonna set one. Uh, so what you copy you control P and control V so maybe control see as it did is it spawned me different location we're gonna be just gonna edit so of course since we got one we're gonna go to two and we're gonna set it to two here see it defines it at two Last one we're gonna define it as number three. Here, number. Three. Okay, so we're gonna save that. Now you will see that we're gonna randomly respawn. Spawn. So after our three second counter is done. See now we respawn where the hospital usually is. This is spawn point number two. Technically, it should rot. Ran it randomizes the spot you're gonna respawn in. For some reason I came back here. It's supposed to be sporadic, but sometimes it doesn't. It doesn't like skip if you're already taking that position. Fire department. So we can see if we can reach the other one.
Okay, well, you get the point. The other one worked the first time, so... So now, if we want to organize it a bit more, like we want to choose where we spawn. So for this, we're gonna we're gonna go into uh, we're gonna close, we're gonna shut down Arma, and we're gonna go back into description. So this is the same thing we set up last time. Oh, sorry, it's not on the. So this is the folder we set up last time. Uh, I can all set it. Over. Pad plus plus. All right, so now we wanted to find a menu for uh, for respawning. So what we're gonna do? I'm just gonna copy paste uh, the value. So in this case, respawn templates west brackets equals uh, quotation marks, and we're gonna put in a menu position because we want our respawn menu to spawn in. Uh, so also here you can. Uh, if I rem uh, you can leave this blank, it will choose a default, but I've ne I've always defined it myself personally. So West will define blue for, uh, East will de define op for, uh, GUR, G uh, like G U E R, will define independent, and CIV, C I V, will define civilian. So right now we will save it. We will go back in game. Start the server. So also, uh, if we just to show you real quick, as you can see here, a respawn start is one. That means it was going to respawn us immediately at the beginning, kill us, and respawn us immediately at the beginning. So that will, um, so basically, that's going to give us our menu. If we put this this value to zero, it would spawn us where we position our character on the editor. But in this case, it's going to kill us and respawn us on the menu right away. So we will go back. Name, select the, the spot. Let's continue. And as you can see, it gave us our menu. So respawn one, respawn two, and respawn respawn three. Now, let's see, oh, it's supposed to be here. As you can see, it will uh, spawn us, it will let us choose where we want to respawn. Spawn number two. And that uh, you can do that for, for both sides. So you could set up other respawn point for your, uh, your drop four. And that's about it for respawn for now. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. We appreciate it and of course subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed it and want to see more tutorial videos and i will see you in the next one.